everybody, it is Nick Chapel back for another episode of Nick Does Disney. And right now, like I told you earlier, I do not have any parks vlogs for you right now. Uh, we wrapped up our most recent time when my wife and I went down for food and wine and party for the senses and all that stuff. So in between those vlogs and the ones we have coming up for our Christmas trips, I figured this is something I've wanted to do for a while. I've mentioned it before, and that is a home tour of all the Disney things that we have throughout our house. Specifically, all the things that we brought home from parks, um, or even ordered, I'll use personal shoppers if Funko Pops come out and I can't make it down there for the release and I'm afraid they're gonna sell out. I've done that as well. So years and years of things that I've collected from the parks. I know it's not like super duper crazy collection like some of you out there have and some things I've seen online, but I still think I have a fair amount of stuff to show off. So we're gonna start in uh, the main area of the house where all the Disney stuff is and that is uh, my room in the house. It's my gym room, I guess. I have a treadmill here. I do a lot of my runs because I run to eat when I go down to Disney so I can just gorge out and eat all the wonderful things that I want to and not feel so bad about it because I work out so much. So there's a treadmill in here. And uh, if you didn't know, I work for a radio station and uh, the sports show that I do actually get to broadcast from home. So I've got some equipment over here so I can broadcast from the house. Uh, so you'll see those things in here as well. But this is my Disney room and then I'll go throughout the house and show you some of the other things that uh, make us uber Disney fans and collectors. So let's start in this room where the bulk of the stuff is. All right, so some of the stuff that I love most out of everything that I have are all these attraction signs. I've been collecting these for a little while now. I'll start over to the left, and this is, of course, the great movie ride, the now extinct attraction that was in Hollywood Studios, making way for Minnie and Mick Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway that should be coming up, hopefully, you know, in the first few months of 2020. So, great movie ride, RIP, but I do have the sign to, you know, in memoriam on my wall, I guess. And of course, this is the classic Haunted Mansion plaque. Love that one as well. Over here, I got this one I think last year or earlier this year. Uh, you'll find this over in Frontierland, of course, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Frontierland Railroad Station, and the rafts to Tom Sawyer Island. Really did that one, that one's really heavy actually. And then hanging right above it, the Disneyland marquee sign. Love me some Disneyland, and I love that sign. This is the most recent addition to my collection. I got this one on spring break of this year the Tomorrowland sign. They were sold out online. I was really bummed out about it, but I found that one in Hollywood Studios and had that shipped home, so love that one. And this is the one that started it all. My wife got this for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. I love the Enchanted Tiki Room and all things Adventureland, so she got me that sign. That's another really heavy one too, but love that. So those are my park attraction signs. And then right under that, I have a little desk of uh, some various collectibles. This is an opening day pin that I got from Galaxy's Edges grand opening out in Disneyland. Right over here, this is uh, one of the torches that you're gonna find around the World Showcase Lagoon that are still there even though Illuminations is gone, so I love that. I've got a little Steamboat Willie back there. Love these as well. I'm a huge Beaches and Cream fan, Beach Club fan. I don't know how well this is turning out because of the, uh, there you go, the lighting is a little odd, but you can get these at Beaches and Cream. They make really cool milkshakes in there and you get to take the cup home, so I love that. Little Walt Disney inspiration. If you can dream it, then you can do it, which is awesome. Got a hat box ghost right there. This is from the Haunted Mansion, of course, that famous clock scene. And uh, right now the batteries don't work, so I can't show you that, but it's there. Got a Porg. Got this also. It's a nice, like, glass or ceramic mug that I got from Ogus Cantina. The drink wasn't great, but I love the Porg mug. Got this at the Wilderness Lodge this past year before we went on a cruise. It's the totem pole that you find outside of the mercantile there. Really dig that one. Then I've got my little tiki guy from the Polynesian. You can buy that in the gift shop still. They were super duper popular when they first came out a few years ago. It took me forever to get one. Now you can find them all over. Again, the batteries don't work, but this little torch does light up. Of course, I got this at Galaxy's Edge as well. Black Spire Outpost and a model of a Disney cruise ship. This one, Disney Dream. So I know it's very small print, so you probably can't see it. So the fantasy one is the exact same thing, but I still want to get the fantasy, so I have the dream and the fantasy. So that's all up top here. Down below is where the Funko Pops start. I've got some classic Mickeys, Apprentice Mickey and Conductor Mickey. Below that, I know this isn't like Disney Parks related unless you count Mickey's uh, very, not very merry, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Got the Sanderson sisters, because Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies ever. Got the Brave Little Toaster, or Brave Little Toaster, wrong movie, Brave Little Taylor. Uh, I've got Mr. Incredible, 
Steamboat Willie, Firefighter Mickey, and uh, I've got my DVC pin in there that I picked up from the parks as well. Right next to that, I did collect these from Galaxy's Edge, the grand opening in Disneyland, the little what look like detonators, the Sprite and the Coke bottle, and the Dasani bottle. That's before everybody was freaking out that you couldn't take them on planes. Now they reverse that. And I've got my uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge popcorn bucket back there as well. Under here, and the lighting's a little bad, but this is a D23 gift. Uh, it's got a bunch of different pens. It's got a Twilight Zone, Little Mermaid, Indiana Jones, a bunch of really cool stuff in there. And then back here, this must have fallen down, but I got this uh, Mickey's Tales of Adventure from Storytellers Cafe, a little button that you get at that character meal, which is pretty cool. So that is what's over here on this desk. And then let's get into the Funko Pops. This is my pride and joy. I love all these Funko Pops. This is, of course, the Jolly Roger from Pirates of the Caribbean. You've got Red from Pirates as well, sticking in Adventureland. You've got the Orange Bird. And then over in California Adventure, you've got the Collector from Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Up above, a little Haunted Mansion shelf for you. I got this at the 50th anniversary uh, for Disneyland, but they were selling all this stuff in Disney World as well. Pretty awesome. You know Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite rides, so I was really stoked to be able to get that. And now that song's gonna play forever, I think. I don't know how long it goes. Let's see. I don't remember. There you go, so we've got that. And then I got this as well. They were selling these jars for the 50th anniversary. And I got the Hatbox Ghost one. So that one lights up. Try to see in there, I know it's hard to see. So that's cool. You know I love me some Haunted Mansion. Then I've got the Madame Leota Funko Pop that came out that day as well. Got Ezra in his buggy, so a little Haunted Mansion type shelf there. Then up above, we've got Honda Wanaka, one of my newer ones, of course, from Smuggler's Run. Then I've got these limited edition ears, the Adventureland and Tiki Room ears. Really, really love that hat. And then an Alice in Wonderland Funko Pop as well, of course, from the teacups. Then in between shelves on the wall, I love all these. Again, big Haunted Mansion fan. These are Larry Dotson. You're going to see a lot of his stuff, his art spread out throughout my house. This is, of course, the graveyard keeper there. Got the famous attic scene. And then of course, out front, the Hatbox Ghost and the Ghost Horse. So pretty cool. And then up top, the lightsaber that I built. It's Savi's Workshop over at Galaxy's Edge. Got a special lightsaber mount. Whammo. Love that. So worth every penny to customize a lightsaber. If you have not done that yet, you go to Galaxy's Edge. I know it's a lot of money, but totally worth it. So we've got that over there, then moving along, more Funko Pops. I love this one. This one came out uh, over the summer as well. This is the Splash Mountain Funko Pop. Again, sorry about the lighting. I know it's a little funky, but you've got that one over in Disneyland from the Indiana Jones Adventure Ride. We've got that. DJ Rex from Oga's Cantina. Got uh, the Enchanted Tiki Room there. Got Figment. The Abominable Snowman, of course, from the Matterhorn. Up top, this one came out in October. Got more Splash Mountain up there. Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. And this one came out this past summer, or fall, I don't remember, but the Dapper Dance. Actually, it was in the fall, of course. There's a sticker. Uh, or the summer, excuse me. I got that over at D23 Expo. So we've got all that. Moving right along next to that, I've got some more art. I love to collect parks art. The Jungle Cruise. One of my favorite rides, Adventureland, of course, my favorite land, like I've said before. We've got Trader Goofy instead of Trader Sam. So I picked up both of these pieces when I was out in California for the D23 Expo. So I love that. Got another little shelf desk situation over here. We've got the Mickey Birthday Sipper. And on that, I've got my Castaway Key rubber metal for running the 5K. I did that last February with my wife, which was a lot of fun. Found this on an Etsy shop. It's a little spaceship earth like you can put pins in there and things of that nature got uh, one of the customized plaques you can buy still online and in the park so celebrating our dvc membership got this for my birthday the steamboat willie lego kit that took a few days to build 
uh, it was fun, frustrating from time to time, but still definitely pretty cool. And then a little picture of myself and my wife running the 5K. Under that, if it's, you know, Disney Cruise Line, I'm gonna collect it. So this is the statue you find inside on the Disney Fantasy in the atrium. And of course, Donald from the Disney Dream, the two ships that I've been on so far. And you've got Captain Mickey there. Another Funko Pop. You've got the Jolly Roger with a pirate ship. And then down here, you've got Steamboat Mickey. You've got Figment. This is the cup that you get. Uh, you can get anyway if you get blue and green milk over in Galaxy's Edge. And then this is the Farewell to Illuminations cup as well. So it lights up, does all kinds of crazy lighting patterns. Then I have my book collection. I'm not going to go over them all, but I've got tons of books in there. Uh, just different things, Features of the Parks, the Imagineering books, D23 magazines as well and all that. Down below, I've got some more cups for you. This is from Castaway Key, obviously. This is the Galaxy's Edge cup that I got on opening day. I've got an orange bird sipper down there and a cup from the grand opening of Toy Story Land. We were actually there for the grand opening that day and I think the batteries are finally dead because I'm pressing the button and nothing happened. So anyway, I've got all that stuff down there. Over here, stuck on his arm. I've got DJ Rex who lights up, moves around and all that, but I'm on carpet right now so he's not really gonna work. But really, really cool. That was a pre-built droid over there, so. Love that little fella. And then we'll move on up. I just installed these shelves yesterday so I could have more room for Funko Pops because I ran all out of room. And I got this one through a personal shopper. Like I said, I do that from time to time because I wanted to get this one because I love all things Funko Pop. So that is the Skyliner Funko Pop. Next to that is the Haunted Mansion Grave Keeper. Grounds Keeper, I guess. Tomato, tomato. This one just came out. I got that a couple of weeks ago while I was in Disney. It came out while I was there, so I ran over to Disney Springs to get it. The Matterhorn Bobsled, one of my favorite rides. Got Chef Mig Figment from this year's Food and Wine Festival. We've got Rocket from Mission Breakout. And then over here, the die-cast models of the Disney Skyliner. Found this on Etsy. They're customizable little, I guess, uh, attraction signs. It's a small Space Mountain one. And then my pin collection, and I'm just getting started collecting pins. So I know it's very small, but give me time and I will catch up with other people that are out there. So some of the pins that I've collected so far. There he is, Steamboat once again, sitting on that big shelf. And then next to that, I have some art. This is the Kevin John corner, if you will. I love all of his art. I got these uh, in the parks when I was there. Really love this one. This is one of my favorites, his Tower of Terror one. How cool is that? Love that piece. He's so stinking talented. I met him a couple of times as well, and one of the nicest guys ever. Here's more of his art. Got quite a few pieces of his throughout the house. This is some Haunted Mansion goodness. The ballroom scene, so he's awesome. Love all his stuff. And then over here, a bunch of lanyards that I've collected over the years from various things. I keep all my cruise line keys. We are now gold members, which I'm super excited about. Uh, so this is silver, but the next one I get will be gold. Uh, D23 Expo, Party for the Senses, I did a virtual 5k, got my Iron Man there, uh, and then just a bunch of magic bands that I've, we've collected over the years. Now we have uh, the specialty ones so we don't get the ones that you get in the mail anymore. I don't think those are hung up there anywhere, so got, uh, what else is in here? After Hours events at the Magic Kingdom when they used to give out these really cool lanyards that was super early on, a bunch of that kind of stuff in there. Uh, this is Jingle Bell Jingle Bam Dessert Party, which is a lot of fun as well if you've never done that before. So, just a bunch of lanyards and special tickets and magic bands that are hanging on here. And then uh, over here, canvases that I just got through like Target or something. Just some of my favorite scenes in Disney. I love, love, love the Beach Club and this is one of my favorite shots. Just that uh, little boardwalk out to the lighthouse where you can catch the Friendship Boats over to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So I love that one. This is kind of a wider shot from the boardwalk looking over to the beach club with Spaceship Earth out there as well. So love, love, love that. And these aren't hung up right now because I'm running out of room. But here's another beach club where we own. We're DVC members, also DVC members at the Polynesian. So these two canvas pieces need to find a home. But basically, that's it. This is the Disney room in the house, if you will. Just a quick look around and uh, I'll go show you a couple of other things that we've gotten from the parks and that are kind of interspersed around the house. So let's go look some more. 
Totally forgot about this as I was walking out the door in the doorway here. I got this piece from Radiator Springs in Disneyland when I was there for the D23 Expo. So wanted to show you that because I love that ride. Forgot about this too. Right behind that picture is my door knocker that I got from the Haunted Mansion. It's motion activated, but sometimes it can be a little lagging. There you go. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So there you go. Now we're done with this room and can move on. All right, now I'm in the master bedroom of the house, mine and my wife's bedroom. I'm not gonna show you everything else because she would get real mad if I showed off our room, but I told you I love Larry Dotson. This is some more of his art. This is, of course, the boardwalk area, which is one of my favorite areas at night. Uh, you can see like the bakery on there, uh, just a bunch of stuff. So really dig that one. That's one of his pieces that we have in our room. All right, here's another piece that I have hanging. This is another Kevin John original that I showed you. Uh, some of his artwork, the Haunted Mansion, Tower of Terror stuff in my Disney room. This is a, an original sketch that he did, hand drew and painted for me. And he's now got these done and he's gonna be selling uh, prints of them at the Festival of the Arts, which will take off, I think, what is it? Like towards the end of January, runs through February. So, but this is the original. This is the one that he came up with, man, over a year ago and I got my hands on it. So love, love, love that one. And there's one more piece of art in this room that I'll show you. And this one is in our master bathroom. This is another Larry Dotson piece from the Polynesian, the entrance when you walk right on in there. So love some Larry Dotson. And I think I have some more of his in our house. I can't even remember, but there you go. All right, we are downstairs at my house now, and this is right at the bottom of our stairs. Uh, this is a really, really fun piece. I don't remember who did this one. I think it's David Doss. Yes, there it is. All right, so anyway, this is Mickey and Minnie on a beach. What could be, I guess, yes, it's at the Polynesian Resort. There it is on the bucket, kind of looking off from the beach of the Poly over to Cinderella's Castle at the Magic Kingdom. Wrote Mickey and Minnie in the sand. Wish you were here. So, love that piece. And then right next to it, Got this on the Disney Cruise Line, of course. Either the Dream or Fantasy, I, I am assuming. It doesn't say on here. But, of course, Castaway Key. Larry Dotson, I told you, he's the best. So, Castaway Key, one of our favorite places, if not our favorite place on planet Earth. So, we had to have some DCL Castaway Key represented in this house. So, a couple of other art pieces for you. All right, now we're in my living room, and this is a little Disney wall we've been working on over the years. Found this online, probably Etsy, I forget, but just home with the Cinderella Castle in place of the O. My wife got this for me a few years ago, and I love it. It's different objects from around Disney World that spell out our last name, Chapel, which is pretty awesome. Under that, just a picture of us on the Fantasy. It's a couple summers old now, so we need to update that. Got the door knob from Alice in Wonderland. This is awesome. When we got married, I didn't know this, but you can send, uh, I guess, like an invitation or something to Disney World for your wedding, and they'll send you back an autographed picture of Mickey and Minnie. Got a little placard here. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Okay, we've got a Mickey with the uh, chapel C in the middle. And then this is online as well. The chapel family and the uh, way it is when you go to the Polynesian. So that's a look at our Disney wall downstairs, if you will. Still adding to that. Over here on this wall, got this on Etsy as well, I think. We just wanted a simple Mickey and Minnie. It's like a metallic background, little teal Mickey and Minnie on there. Really dig that. Under there, we have another one of these customizable plaques you can buy. This is uh, our spring break trip from last year. Just a little memory from that trip because it was so much fun. So got another little plaque. This is just a side table that we have down here, but some photos from past trips. My wife and I on the Disney Dream last February. Our sons Camden and Carson just chilling in one of the portholes. Those two, brotherly love, taking a picture there. Another picture from the fantasy. And uh, we even have a countdown here. It's a little Steamboat Willie countdown. Today is not the 22nd. I think today's like the 25th, so I haven't updated that in a few days. I apologize. Then down here, I've got some more Disney books. We've got the Bob Iger book. Magic Journey by Kevin Rafferty. That's a really, really good book. I would suggest that. Maps of the Disney parks and Disney parks art, poster art. So collect a lot of Disney books, a lot of reading to do. Another piece of Kevin John art. This was from Epcot's Food and Wine Festival last year, 
bought that there and got him to sign this piece absolutely love it we are huge fans of the food and wine festivals you can see you know a little florida represented there you've got the italy flag the canada leaf just awesome all the wine and the monorail going by spaceship earth so another great kevin john piece he does some really really good stuff all right here's our refrigerator my wife will kill me for showing this off because there's a lot of stuff on here but uh here's our castaway club magnet that you get so as soon as you take your first cruise you are upgraded to a silver Castaway Club member, so we got that. I'm assuming we'll get a gold one at some point, but we are DVC members, so when you go on a Disney cruise on your stateroom door, when you get there, you will see a DVC magnet. And then I try to collect as many magnets as possible when I go to different resorts. When I stay there, I'll get one. So one of our favorites, of course, the Beach Club. Got a Polynesian there. Some pass holder magnets. These are from Food and Wine Festival, obviously. Got a Disneyland magnet there. Got a Contemporary Resort, Wilderness Lodge, Boardwalk. These were from Food and Wine Festival this year. This was from Flower and Garden, I believe. Little cruise line magnet there. Some of my son's art. I've uh, got one from Batu and Animal Kingdom. Got an Aloha one. So yes, we've got quite a few magnets up there. Here in our dining room, not a whole lot in here, but there's another picture of us. Uh, I know it's hard to see again with the lighting, but that was us on the Disney Dream one summer. This is from our wedding. This is our cake topper. So we've been, you know, big time Disney fans for quite some time now, focus, there you go. And then my wife and I on the Dream before we went to dinner at Remy. So highly recommend that restaurant. Expensive, but super good. Downstairs, I have another one. This one isn't hanging up right now, but this is another David Doss piece of the Beach Club. This is normally hanging in our bathroom, but we had some fall art up in there for the season, but sitting on the beaches of Stormalong Bay. This one is kind of like near our garage and our little area over here. Uh, this is an Aloha Isle, refreshments over in Adventureland. This one is eventually going to go upstairs in the Disney room, and we'll put something else over here because I want to hang it with all the other park signs that I have, but. Another cool little uh, art piece. And the last thing I will show you on this one, this is, uh, I guess, like a little mural kind of thing that my wife got me for Christmas a few years ago. Comes in a few different pieces, but get the idea. Of course, Magic Kingdom. Got the partner statue there. Cinderella Castle with the fireworks going off in the background. So another fun little piece of art. And then I've got a David Doss piece over here. Some sand pails. The Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney Cruise Line, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. So yes, lots and lots of Disney art. And another Disney Cruise Line photo from this past summer. So lots of pictures and art around here. All right, so there you go. I'm gonna wrap it up right there. That was a quick look around our house of uh, all the things that we've collected in the Disney parks throughout the years. I've been going since 2008. Yeah, of course, my honeymoon, so 2008. So. Not as long as some of you, but I've got a decent collection going of things from Disney World and Disneyland. So that's going to do it. Just wanted to give you a quick tour, especially of those Funko Pops, because I'm Funko Pop crazy. So in the comments below, show me some things that you collect in your house. I would love to see the little collections you guys and gals have going on out there as well. That's a wrap for now. I will be back to do another video once we break out the Christmas decorations. Again, today is November 25th, I think, so I don't know when this one is going to go up but I will do another one as soon as we break out all of our stuff on Black Friday and decorate the house for Christmas. And I'll show you all of our Disney Christmas stuff that we have as well. But that is gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching Nick Does Disney and have a great day, everybody.